Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. So if you saw my last video, I was away in Pennsylvania for the past three weeks visiting my family and I finally got back to North Carolina last night. It feels so good to be back, to not be living out of a suitcase anymore, to just be in my own space have all of my own things, get to shower in my own shower, sleep in my own bed. But because I've been gone for so long, I have a lot of things that I need to get caught up on and, you know, just things I need to do in order to kind of get back into my normal routine. And I am so excited. I took a break, not 100%, but a little bit of a break from work-related things so that I could just fully be in the moment and just enjoy my time with my friends and family. Very grateful and fortunate that I have the job that I have, that my schedule is so flexible. Uh, so thank you so much to all of you guys for watching because couldn't do this as a job if people weren't watching. So I appreciate you very much for being here. But um, yeah, it was nice to take a little bit of a break. I'm excited though to get back into a routine and get back to work and just my normal life. Today, I wanna kind of like unpack, do laundry, you know, settle back in. So I have all of my stuff over here on the floor that needs to be unpacked still. I started putting a couple things away, like some toiletries and stuff last night, but majority of my stuff is just still out here. So we need to put that away, do laundry, go grocery shopping, check the mail. I made sure to leave my place nice and clean before I left a few weeks ago. So that's good. I don't have to worry about cleaning. But first we're gonna go grocery shopping because I am starving. I need coffee desperately and my kitchen is completely empty. Oh, and by the way, in case anyone is wondering for my hair i washed it last night and then i brushed through it after i got out of the shower so that way it would like loosen my curls and i didn't put any product in it i just let it air dry and i kept kind of like tugging on it a little bit so that it would dry in more of like a loose wave and then i used my bed head a wave we go waver and I just real quick I only held it for like a couple seconds in each spot and then I took a few pumps of the Sebastian dark oil and just ran it through the mids and ends to kind of smooth it out a little bit and soften and nourish my hair I think I'm gonna need to put a little bit more in it later because I went out to walk Benny and it's super humid out there so it got a little frizzed up but I like doing this style on the days when I want to wear my hair a little bit messy and I don't want to put as much heat on it and go through the whole process of blowing it out and then curling it and all that. Um, but I want something a little bit softer and looser than my natural curls because those can be a little bit intense sometimes. And I always feel like when I style my hair like this, it tends to look way better throughout the week. Like as I sleep on it and as it gets like a little bit greasier and less frizzy. I'll link these two things in the description. All right, let's go grocery shopping. Grocery haul. Feels like it's been so long since I've gone grocery shopping. Honestly, the past few weeks I ate out a lot. So I want to get back in like some type of a healthy eating routine, you know? So I got a big carton of eggs and then I got some turkey breakfast sausage. Ground turkey, probably just gonna stick this in the freezer. I also got some salmon, which same thing. I'm just gonna stick those in the freezer. That way I can have that later on next week or you know, whenever. I got some Fiesta blend cheese. I got two of my chai latte concentrates. These are so good and they're such a nice treat and they prevent me from going to Starbucks as often. I also got vegetable broth. I'm planning on making a white bean and vegetable soup. I also got some white beans for that soup. And then I got a can of refried beans and some enchilada sauce. Sometimes I like to make like a sort of healthier enchilada. I also got spinach. 
I got some baby carrots to put in the soup and also to snack on. Tomatoes for the soup, nectarines, cilantro for the soup, Brussels sprouts, celery also for the soup, strawberries. I got a few bananas. I just picked like the ripest ones that they had off to the side because I'm gonna peel these and then stick them in a bag and freeze them so that I can use them for my smoothies. I also got coconut milk for my smoothies, half and half for my coffee, of course. I got blueberry English muffins. And then lastly, I got some carb balance tortillas for my enchiladas. Now it's time to make our coffee and I'm very excited because A, I mean, what is a vlog of mine without a clip of me making coffee? And I feel like it's been so long since I've done that. And also, I have a new Nespresso machine and I'm gonna be using it for the first time. I ran a cleaning cycle last night, so it's all ready to go, but I'm very excited. Let me show you. Oh, my mom is blowing up my phone. So this is the new machine, the Nespresso Virtuo. I had the Virtuo Next, which I got last year as a birthday gift. I loved it, it was great, but then the last few months it was acting up and then it just completely crapped out. So I called customer service, they were super nice. It turns out that that machine, they actually have discontinued. It seems like a lot of people were having issues with it. So they were like, because we're not even making those machines anymore, just go on our website and pick whatever machine you want and we'll just send you a brand new one free of charge. So that was really cool. And I have to say their customer service, 10 out of 10. Like they were so great. And this machine is like a little bit nicer than the one that I had before which is exciting. It can make espresso and also regular like full cups of coffee. I'll link this specific machine down below. I got it in the matte black color, which I love. It looks so sleek. Let's make our first cup. This is my favorite kind. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh my god. I missed my Nespresso coffee so much. I'm gonna go enjoy this, figure out something to have for breakfast. It's like 10.30 now, and then we will start unpacking and doing our laundry and all of that. I don't know why I say our and we. Like, I'm gonna be doing it. You're just gonna be watching me. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh my god, by the way, look how tall this freaking leaf is. I mean, it it is on a stand, which is from Home Goods, by the way. But still, this is getting so tall. It's literally taller than me. It's crazy. It's gonna be like touching the ceiling soon. And I have another new leaf opening up over here. So exciting! I had my friend come in apartment sit and water my plants for me while I was gone. And they are all thriving. This little guy here too. Look at all these new little leaves popping up. And I got another one. It's just a bigger version of the little one I have over here. A fiddle leaf fig, which I'm so excited about. These can be super expensive. I found it at Home Depot for... $24.99. Still haven't figured out a permanent place for it yet, but I just have it over here for now. Oh, and I also got this little rubber plant too from Home Depot. I was shocked. I was there like a week or two ago and they had so many options and so many plants that I feel are a little bit more rare or harder to come by or you have to like go to a nursery to find them. So yeah, if you're looking for some good indoor plants, I would go check Home Depot right now because I don't know if it's just the one that's up by my parents' house or what, but they had a really good selection.
Okay, we are making some progress. I got everything unpacked and put away and it feels so good. I have never been one of those people that unpacks their stuff right away after getting back from a trip. I usually just let my bag sit there for at least a week normally, which is so bad, but it just goes to show how excited I am to just be back and just get back to my normal routine. I have my laundry in the dryer now. So I think I am going to take Benny to the dog park because he hasn't been there in so long and he loves going, he has so much fun and it's a nice day out. Yesterday we were in the car pretty much the entire day and he was just like curled up on the seat sleeping and then the day before that we were doing some traveling so he hasn't been able to get out and you know, get his energy out and run and play and all of that in a few days. So I wanna let him do that, especially because then later tonight, I am planning on going out with my friends. And whenever I leave him home, I mean, it'll be at night, he'll be sleeping, it'll be fine. But I usually like to take him out and let him get his energy out during the day first. That way he'll just be tired and he'll just go right to sleep and not miss me or even realize that I'm gone. You wanna go to the park? You wanna go play? You wanna go play at the park? Come on, let's go. Let's go play. She's so excited. You missed coming here? You know exactly where we are. Oh. Okay, let's go. lens is fogging up you can tell how humid it is out here <laughs> good morning happy Monday I feel so good I had a nice fun and relaxing weekend and this morning I just got up and felt so refreshed and it was like cloudy and kind of raining on and off all weekend too but this whole week is supposed to be really sunny and warm and it's absolutely beautiful outside right now i edited a vlog last night i posted that this morning was responding to emails um typed out a like script not really a script but like a layout an outline an outline for a video that I'm gonna be filming later this week. I made myself a delicious breakfast and I'm feeling really good. So I was just charging up my Fitbit because it's been months since I've worn this. This is the Ulta HR Fitbit, by the way. I don't know, it's old. My mom got it for me for Christmas years ago, like 2017 maybe. I want to make an effort to be more active and really like track my progress. I'm about to go take Benny for a walk. Look at him, he's just waiting. He's like, oh my God, can we go? I'm gonna take him for a nice long walk around the apartment complex. And then I'll probably come bring him back and then go hit up the gym in my apartment complex. Come on. It's really hot outside. It says it's 88 degrees right now and it's going to go up to 91. Cause I was kind of thinking maybe I should just get all my steps in outside, but it's way too hot to do that, honestly. So I'm gonna change into some more like workout appropriate clothes and grab my AirPods. Did you have a nice walk? Yeah, this is a good walk. Are you tired now? gym outfit just some black bike shorts 
black tank top. I think I'm just gonna go walk on the treadmill for like an hour or so, try to just get as many steps as possible. Can I trust you to just be loose in the apartment? Can I trust you? When he was a puppy, I used to always leave him in his crate whenever I would leave him home alone because he had really bad separation anxiety and he would like kind of freak out a little bit. His crate is his safe space. And then over time, I've just been leaving him in my bedroom with the door shut. But I would eventually like to just leave him and let him roam free so that way he's not just like trapped in one room. I mean, I'm only gonna be gone for an hour. So maybe we should try it out. And I mean, he's pretty tired now, so hopefully he'll just chill and be okay. We're gonna try this out. I'll be right back, okay? You stay here and I'll be right back. That felt so good. I got 8,511 and it's 1230, so not bad. And it's so sad and pathetic to say this, but my legs are tired. That just goes to show like how inactive I've been lately that I'm exhausted from that. Literally just walking. It looks like Benny did good being free in the apartment. Wow, when I got in here, he was just laying on the couch. Did you stay here all by yourself? Like a big boy? Wow, so grown up. Okay, we are about to make a smoothie. Keep it nice and simple, we're just gonna do some spinach. And I have my little Nutribullet blender how cute and beautiful. I just got this one recently. I'm just gonna take a pretty big handful of spinach. And then I like to use unsweetened coconut milk as my liquid. Fill that up like about halfway. And then because this is such a little blender, I like to blend this up first really quick just to like give myself some more room in here. I have my frozen bananas that I did a few days ago. Just do half. And then whatever kind of frozen fruit you like. I love mango. I also have some mixed berries actually, so I'm gonna throw some of these in there too. And I'm telling you, adding that frozen banana is life-changing because it'll make your smoothie so creamy and delicious and it sweetens it a lot. So you won't taste any of the greens at all whatsoever, or like anything that you wanna add. If you wanna add seeds to it or whatever, protein powder. The banana, I feel like just helps make everything taste so much better. It looks absolutely disgusting. Oh, that's so good. I missed this. It just tastes like mango and banana. I'm gonna go have this and just sit and kind of cool down and relax for a little bit. It's a few hours later, I am not even gonna lie. I was drinking my smoothie, sitting on the couch, and I started to feel kind of tired and sleepy and I was like, ugh, I should get up and start doing something so that I don't end up falling asleep. And next thing I know, I'm waking up from a nap. So I napped for a couple of hours. I don't know, I'm feeling a little like blah. So I made some espresso. I'm gonna have an iced latte and hopefully that will wake me up a little bit. I actually haven't had any caffeine today. I did have that coffee this morning, but it was a decaf coffee. So poured this out. I'm gonna let this just kind of sit out on the counter for a little bit to cool down. And then I also heated up some soup that I had made over the weekend. I just chopped up some onion, garlic, carrots, celery, tomatoes, and threw that in a pot with vegetable broth, and then added two cans of white kidney beans, 
and a little bit of pasta. So I'm gonna eat this and I'm hoping that this coffee will give me the energy that I need because I wanna start editing this vlog tonight and then I also have a podcast episode that I, if I can't completely finish editing it tonight, I would like to at least, you know, get it started. I got my 10,000 steps for the day. I feel very good and accomplished. And I'm not necessarily trying to do this like for weight loss. I just wanna be more active, I wanna feel good. And back in the day, that's all I did. Like a couple years ago when I really was like feeling amazing, I just wore my Fitbit and I just made sure to get at least 10,000 steps each day. But I got a little bit of work done. I have the dishwasher running. I have another load of laundry going and I'm gonna go hop in the shower soon. And then I'm just gonna have a relaxing night and eventually go to bed. Last night I actually watched the finale of The Staircase on HBO and oh, it was such a good show. And this week, the finale of The Kardashians is coming out. I binged the newest season of Stranger Things in like the first 24 hours after they released that. So all that I'm watching right now is The Time Traveler's Wife on HBO, which is pretty cute. Also, that guy is like so hot, so. That's honestly the main reason why I watch it. But yeah, I need some new shows to get into. So comment down below, let me know what you are currently watching and if you have any recommendations for me. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here, but I will be starting a new one tomorrow. So another vlog will be coming very soon. I'm also gonna be filming a few sit down videos later this week. So there'll be lots of new content coming. Like I said, it was so nice to have that break, but I am so excited to get back into working and you know, posting and making content. Thank you guys so much for being here and for watching. I hope you're having an amazing week and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.